And welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders. Alright, so last time we unlocked a couple new recipes. Uh, we made ourselves a- wait, did I make myself a hammer yet? I did. Let's equip that. And then we also unlocked the recipe for the giant coffer. Actually, no, colossal coffer, I think. Yep, there it is. So what do I need for this? I need eight pieces of wood. Uh, we can get that from the trees now that we have the hammer. Oh, I need one more piece of fur. We'll grab that later, and a pot. Do I have any goo? No. I need one piece of goo for a pot, then. Okay. Actually, before we go, let me drop off what I don't need. We did get some ivy last time, so we could make ourselves, like, a little ladder between the two rooms. Uh, that is a possibility, but I'll worry about that later. What else do I not need with me? When did I get... Oh, I think I stole that signpost. That's right. Alright, there we go. Oh, we should probably grab some food before we go, too. Oh, end this quest. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this quest is going to unlock a new townsperson for us. Uh, looks like we're going to have to look for them on the other side of the tunnel portal, though. Alright, so we'll have to keep an eye on them when I start exploring that new area. Also, yeah, we could make ourselves some camps out there that we could sleep at. Or I could just use my wings to teleport home at any time. Honestly, there's no place in this game that's too far away from the main camp. That you really have to make a forward operating uh, base. Anyways. Before I do anything in that new area, though, I do want to make myself a giant... Or, Colossal coffer. Alright, first thing I need is, uh, was it blue slime? I think I need blue slime. Yep. Just need a bit of slime. There we go. Alright, and we also need one more piece of fur and then some wood. We can just gather the wood from the trees here. There are so many trees in this area, we're never gonna have to really worry about wood. And even if we did, we could just replant them. But first things first, I want to get myself... Actually, I also want to get myself some stone. Because now that we have the mallet, we can break rocks for stone, which is good. Because, yeah, now we can make ourselves a stone sword, which is, I think, over twice as powerful as the uh, club we've been using. And a bunch of other stone equipment and furniture. Ooh, and stairs. Actually, stairs are kind of important. Because I do want to make myself a giant tower in the corner from what we have so far. Just to give ourselves plenty of room. Also, I'm just going to grab some sticks, in case I need to make another mallet. Actually, speaking of stairs, I will be taking these. No one else is using them. There we go. Alright, so let's grab a piece of... What is it? Yeah, we need a piece of fur. We can get those from the hammer hoods. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, there's copper down there. I could go down and get it right now. Do we have the inventory space? We do. I'm just going to grab a couple more rocks, maybe grab some copper. Oh, we also need to grab some wood before we go back to... We need eight pieces. I think every tree is worth, like, four? Yeah, four pieces of lumber. We can turn that into wood. Also, I could take the stump to get a sapling, but we don't really need saplings in this land. There are so many trees around the base that it's not going to be an issue at all. Some areas, though, yeah, you're going to need to replant trees if you want a steady supply of lumber. Also, we just got ourselves some copper. So we can make an ingot. Oh, we can make ourselves a forge, too. We can start working with metal with that. I'll worry about that later, though. Let's just grab as much material as we can. Is this coal? Yep, that's coal. We can burn things now. We're going to need a lot of coal if we're going to be working with that. Why did that unlock how to make dishes? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. We need heat to make dishes. But yeah, we're gonna need a lot of coal, because pretty much everything you do with the forge requires coal to heat it. So let's just grab as much as we can. I did grab some sticks earlier so we can make ourselves a new hammer. Honestly, yeah, we might want to make ourselves a second hammer at some point. Just because the hammer is something that ten oop that really burns through uh, durability just because we use it so often to break everything. Actually, I should also make sure I use up my stick and my club before I make anything else. Just so I don't clutter up my inventory, or my uh, equipment inventory. Here, that's enough. Let's head back. There are more efficient places to mine for copper and iron, or not copper and iron, uh, copper and coal than that area. Mostly because if I accidentally slipped, I would just, oh wait, more stairs. If I slipped, I would have just fallen into the ocean. 
Actually, wait, is that the ocean? Oh no, there is a little area down there. Either way, I don't want to fall. Alright, let's get out of here. I need to go do some crafting and then, uh, we'll probably start exploring tomorrow. I think I need some more wood, though. Here, yeah, I'm gonna grab a sapling, too, just to show off how it works. So, yes, yeah, saplings. Pretty much you can only plant them in your base. They won't grow if you don't plant them inside the light. Uh, basically just plant it, and in a few days, that'll be a tree. Easy enough. I'm not gonna worry about saplings, because like I said, there are trees everywhere in this area. We do not have to worry about trees ever. Alright, so let's make some wood. Alright, so what else did we unlock? We unlocked how to make a bench. Uh, ooh, a saloon door. That could be helpful. What else can we build? Okay, that's it. Alright, so now I should have everything I need. Oh wait, I actually need to make a pot first. There we go. Now we should have everything we need. To make the Colossal Coffer. And now I never have to worry about inventory space ever again. At least while we're in this area. I made a giant treasure chest. But yeah, as long as it's inside your base, if your inventory is full, anything you pick up will just be automatically transferred to it. So yeah, now we don't have to worry about that, which is fine with me. Honestly, this game is so clunky without the Colossal Coffer. It's pretty much the first thing I try to build every time I go to a new area. Oh, that's right, we can make a forge now. Actually, do I have the material for a forge already? Yeah, we'll explore the new area tomorrow, but let me see, do I have the material for a forge? Uh, you don't have another quest for me, do you? Nope. Alright, let me see, where is it? Oh, we can make a forge. Let's make a forge. Oh, I also wanted to make myself a new sword, too. Actually, honestly, with the forge, we might not need to worry about a stone sword. I can just go to the next step. But yeah, I do want to make myself a forge room. I think I'm going to expand this up another floor. If I'm going to do that, though... Let's start clearing out this area up here. Okay, perfect. Oh, I can't actually get up there. There I go. There we go. Now I can. I do want to leave some holes for windows, though, just to make the uh, area look better from outside. Actually, you know what? I'm going to worry about this when we get back. Once they actually ask us to make a forge. For now, I'm just going to stick it over here. Oh, we turned it into a stonemason smithy. I didn't mean to do that, but that works. I'm pretty sure eventually they're going to ask me to make a separate forge for them, but... Yeah, we can't really make anything right now. I think we can unlock a bunch of stuff if we do this, though. We learned how to make a sconce. Okay. There we go, that's what I wanted. So now we can make ourselves a copper sword. That is kind of overpowered for the next area, but I'm gonna make one anyways. I don't think we can make a sledgehammer yet. Yeah, we can't make a sledgehammer yet. That's fine. Alright, so let's make ourselves another hammer. And we are pretty much fully prepared for the new area. Also, they're all really happy about the forge. That's fine. Actually, wait, before we do anything, let's actually remember to put this thing down. I'm gonna stick it over here for now. So yeah, we have a lot of storage space now. I'm just gonna stick everything in here. Except the wings, I need to keep those with me. And the dirt. I use that to build stuff. Alright, so, we're completely prepared. Let's go to a new area. In the morning. I don't think we can make any new equipment yet though, unfortunately. I would love some actual clothing other than these rags we're wearing, but... Oh well. Oh, let me also make sure everything's equipped before we go. There we go. So yeah, we have a copper sword now. Our attack power pretty much tripled. Oops. I'll just take your word for it. Anyways, I do want to check one thing before we go. I can't make any new clothing, right? Oh, we could make leather armor. Oh, I just need three pieces of fur. Ooh, and a leather shield. Fur and wood. We need a lot more fur. I'll worry about that when we get back. For now, we should be okay. 
Nothing over there hits super hard. Plus, we can probably kill them faster than they can kill us at this point. Alright, but time to explore. So what are we looking for in this area? We're looking for some, well, materials first off. Uh, we want coal and copper, which is, oh wow, there's actually a lot of them in this quarry. Oh, treasure chest. Kinda want that. Let's grab that before we go. We also are looking for a new person in this area. I think that's what our quest marker is for. Also, hi there. That's easy. Okay, let's grab this chest first. What's in here? Ooh, see the life. Um, okay. I wasn't planning to fall, but... Good to know. Hi, friend. You're not a friend. You do have fur for me, though. I need that fur. So, yeah. Uh, let's start grabbing a couple more pieces of copper. I think we still have plenty, but I want to get as much as possible. Unless we need to make ourselves some stairs to get out of here anyways. Oh, rock's floating. I can fix that. Alright, perfect. Should be enough for now. Alright, so let's actually try to get out of here without falling. Falling kind of hurts. Especially when you're in a giant quarry like that one. Alright, so where are we going right now? Uh, quest marker is pointing in that direction. Oh, okay, I think I see what they are saying. He did mention a bridge. So, they're probably hide. Oh, I think I see the bonfire from here. Let's go. Yeah, oh crap, I just realized... That was a bad idea. I kind of forgot that was just a sheer cliff. Oh, is that silver? Oh, it is silver. Awesome. I was hoping for iron, but silver works too. I don't think we can make anything with it at the moment. Oh wow, yeah, there's a silver vein. There we go. Uh, I think that's all I can grab for now. What the? Oh, okay, there was... There we go. Okay, now we can get out of here. Anyways, let's go find that person. Oh, I should also probably eat something. We are kind of getting low on hunger. But yeah, if I ever need copper or uh, coal, I can just come back here. It's kind of everywhere. Also, we can one-shot slimes now. But yeah, it looks like we're looking for another person in this area somewhere. I see the fire. Actually, I think I see them. Oh yeah, I think that is them. Hi there. Nice helmet. Oh. Well, oh, that was a mistake. Well, bye. Now they're just gonna ignore him and just go after me. Actually, can I charge attack? No, I can't charge attacks at the moment. There we go. Easy enough. Actually, honestly, without a sword of any kind, that battle takes forever. Skeleton, those are pretty much mini-bosses that have a ton of health. Like, trying to do that with a wooden club like I did my first time, not fun. It's pretty much just hit-and-run tactics. Yeah, a stick won't do it. Yep, I built it. It's not so much a town so far, but it's getting there. Alright, so we just recruited a new person. Uh, I do have a Chimera Wing. Actually, before we go, let's explore this area a bit more. Is there anything else we can grab here? I don't think so. I don't think we can build a bridge to that area yet. Can we? No, I don't think we can. It's too far away. Alright, let's go back. But yeah, like you were saying, since we have a Chimera Wing, we can just go back immediately. And we take anyone with us uh, along for the ride. I think. He does come with me, right? Yep, there he is. Sure. I mean, it's not that big, honestly. I'm pretty sure the town in the original game was a lot bigger. So yeah, we just recruited our first guard. 
pretty much he's gonna be the most handy person here in terms of uh, defense missions. Why do we let you stay here again? Yeah, no, we're just gonna be recruiting everyone we see. Also, Seed of Life. Alright, so are there any, any new quests? Oh, we have a defense mission. Actually, let's do that. Uh, no, you know what? We can do it right now. We should have plenty of time. Why are your feet furry? Alright, let's just do this. Shouldn't be too hard. Defense missions tend not to be super hard as long as your equipment is up to date. Alright, so where are they? Oh, wait. Brownies. Wait, where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay, yeah, we need to get rid of these guys immediately. They're gonna start doing that. Let's get- Oh, no, no, no. Stay away from the bedroom. Stay away from the bedroom. Actually, I don't think their hammers can break through uh, stone, so I think we're okay. Oh, wyverns. Oh, hopefully we can get some of their wings. Oh, we got a monster egg. We can cook that. Oh, that was easy. Oh, thank god the bedroom is made out of rock. Pretty sure the small brownies can't actually break through it. But yeah, if you have any buildings made of wood or dirt, they will just smash right through them and break them. Oh, yeah, another sack. That's a decoration. We can stick that somewhere. Maybe in the bedroom. And a second seed of life. Oh, are all my seeds Oh, they are on the uh, colossal cop for... We'll grab those in a second. There we go. Oh, and that unlocked a bunch of new quests. Alright, let's go see what everyone wants. Yes? Oh, do you want your own private bed? Yeah, you just want a private bedroom. Okay. Alright, so well, you can make her a private bedroom. That shouldn't be too big of a problem. So, straw mattress, a pot in the corner, and a sign. So, yeah, not everyone has to sleep in the main hall. You can make private bedrooms for people. We can also make ourselves a private bedroom, but honestly, it's not really that necessary for us. Got an inn sign. Oh, we can probably make that for the big uh, inn area. Shop sign. Yeah, we just learned how to make all the signs. Okay, so we need a private bedroom for her. What does Roma want? Great castle, but oh. Oh, I don't think we saw that, did we? All right, so he wants us to go find the old castle and find some secrets within. Heh. <laughs> Alright, fine. So yeah, we need to learn how to make a stone stockade. Uh, okay. We'll go look for that later. And then, what does he want? Oh, okay. He wants us to go learn a new uh, attack. Alright, that sounds good. Alright, so we just need to build ourselves a new room and then go explore the new area some more. Alright, we'll worry about that in the morning, though. I do want to see if I can make that room right away. Oh, wait. For a sign. What do I need for the sign again? I think I need ink. Orange oil and some magic dye. I think for magic dye, we need uh, goo. Actually, wait. Where do we make the iron... Or not iron dye. The uh, magic dye. Because I sworn it was in the cooking area. Oh, we can make ourselves some leather armor now. Better than what we're wearing right now. Alright, so let me see. Yeah, where do I... Oh, I think I can make it at the forge. No. Wait. Oh, I guess we just haven't picked up the recipe for it yet. Oh, I think I know why we haven't picked up the recipe for it yet. We have never gotten any orange goo yet. Because, yeah, I think we need orange and blue goo to make a uh, magic dye. I need some goo anyways. There are some orange slimes in this area. There we go. Yeah, that was our first first uh, part of orange oil. 
Wayfarer's clothes. There we go, magic die. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Oh, speaking of clothing. There we go. Now we're looking a lot better. But yeah, let's grab some dye before we head back. I'll probably head back starting around evening. Actually, I think evening just started. It's kind of hard to tell in this area. There's not really a whole lot of sunshine. Actually, there's not a whole lot of sunshine anywhere in this er in the uh, world right now. It's kind of overcast everywhere. But yeah, it's definitely evening now. Let's head home. Don't want to stay out too late. Now the question is, how do I want to put the bedroom up? I want to add it to the tower. Because I think I'm just going to add all my buildings to the tower. But how would we... Hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I have an idea. It's going to involve... Yeah, it's going to involve breaking this real quick. Oh, whoops. Give me and put the door back there. Stick everything we don't need in here. Why do I have bones? Did I ask? I accidentally picked up someone's bones. Oh, it was probably in that giant combat earlier. That makes sense. Oh, where's that door? All right. So first things first. Let's fix this back up. So I'm thinking. Oh, we can also get rid of this. So I'm thinking we can put a staircase right here, up to the next floor. Oh, right, I need to put some dirt down. And then we can put the bedroom right above the workshop, and then we'll just keep building up. Eventually, though, I think I'm going to have to expand the platforms a bit. Things are getting a bit narrow. I'm going to leave another square open for a window. I think it'll be safe to build here, though. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be attacked uh, tonight. Alright, perfect. Alright, uh, let me see here. How do I want to handle this? Well, first things first, let's do this. Alright, so we can make a platform here. Too high is enough, right? Let me check one more thing. How high is this? Three high, okay. Yeah, we're gonna need to make another platform up there then. Actually, one, two, three. Yeah, that's right. So I'll have to make another floor here. I think I need more dirt. Yeah, I guess we just don't get attacked in this area at night. That's fine with me. Either that or I'm just playing too high that they can't attack me. Either way, we're fine. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna need to start expanding, making it more like floor space once I get higher up. Also, yeah, pretty much your guards will guard any finished room they can access. Perfect. Alright, this looks good. Oh, that doesn't look as good. I wanted to face the other way. Oh, yeah, I am almost completely out of dirt. Here, if I want to face the other... Oh, okay, we're good. If I want to face the other way, I'm going to have to do this. Hmm, actually, that doesn't work as well. Okay, new plan. Oops, that's not the new plan. We can put the stairs right here. I'm just gonna get rid of this little outcropping. And then we'll make the room like this area over here. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I need more dirt. Let's go find some more dirt. I think we're safe out here for now. Yeah, normally we're under attack and later in the game, but I guess in this area, we're safe. Okay, let's find a good place to harvest some dirt. This, look, uh, this looks good. So yeah, once we finish up this room, we'll start exploring the new area again. Near the uh, Hammerhood Village. So right now, we're looking for a monster that has a weird attack and a castle. So we can grab some rescue from there, or like a blueprint from there. I'm pretty sure I can't put the blueprint on the tower. Actually, I'm pretty sure that blueprint would be useless on the tower because it's like a defensive area. So that's actually something that we'll have to make at ground floor for once. Or ground level. Also, it's daytime already. Don't mind me. We 
don't need sleep. Oh, we do need food, though. We're starting to get pretty hungry. Eventually, I kind of want to replace the dirt with something else, though. Doesn't look as good when it's all dirt. Oh, yeah, let's actually grab some food. Did they make me anything good? Well, they made plumberries. I'm just gonna grab all this. Fortunately, your villagers don't actually have to eat themselves. So we don't have to worry about providing them with food or anything. Alright, so let's build. Actually, I probably should have left space for a door. Oh well. It's not gonna be a big room for her. In fact, yeah, let's uh, just go... Mm. Kind of looks better when it's not all the way out. Give her, like, a little really tiny balcony in the back. Actually, I don't even think this is enough. Actually, this could be enough room. All we need is a pot, a bed, and a sign. Yeah, I think that's fine. I still do need to make that sign, though, in a pot. Oh, we're gonna have to go harvest some blue slimes. Fortunately, they're pretty common. In fact, I can see one over there, right now. Just enjoying himself. We're gonna go fix it. Yeah, I need to uh, punch myself out of door real quick. Oh my god, it's crowded in here. Yeah, I need to get rid of this forge and make it its own room. Alright, so let's see. I need a straw door. Oh, I'm out of leaves. Can I make a saloon door? I need wood for that. Do we want to give her a saloon door? Kind of do. But yeah, I think the magic dies downstairs. Yep, there it is. Actually, we already have the materials for it. Awesome. Alright, so now we should be able to make... Oh no, I think I need wood. That's right. Let's grab a couple pieces of wood then. Whoops, gave me the, to uh, grab the sapling. Awesome. I need to stop doing that. Whoops. I also need to stop falling into the stupid hole that I made. I really should fill that in. Here, I'm just going to stick these outside the base. I don't really care about wood. Or trees. Alright. So let me see here. Uh, let's turn all that into wood real quick. There's no point keeping lumber. Alright, and now we can make ourselves a pot. Uh, we're going to need a pot, a bed, and a lady sign. And then we need a bed. Well, straw mattress. Oh, right, I forgot I'm out of leaves. Let's go grab some leaves. Oh, we also need to make a door and some kind of lighting device. Actually, we could make her a sconce. I don't know why sconce is such a fun word to say. Not even sure if that's the proper term for that uh, structure thing. Probably is. Alright, that should be enough. Beat Iron Scorpion. Yeah, we need to get that blueprint still. I'll worry about that later, though. Oh, brick cladding. So, yeah, if we use this, we can turn any, like, dirt walls around us into brick walls. That would be really good and make this area look a whole lot better. I think I'm going to invest in that later. Oh, I need a lot of clay. We can grab some clay when we're in the new area. Alright, so let's make her a sconce. And then we can make her... What else do we need? A straw door... Actually, we could make her a saloon door. You know what? Why not? Let's make her a saloon door. Oh, I was going to make myself another hammer, wasn't I? I made a pot already, right? Yep. And then we just need a straw mattress. And that should be good. Yeah, let's make her a saloon door. Why not? That has absolutely no privacy. Put a lady sign up, put a sconce up, and put a pot in the corner. And now we have our first private bedroom. But yeah, we can switch up uh, male or female based on the sign. And then we can just write down whose room this is. We only have one female right now, so it's Pippa's room. There we go. Happy birthday, Pippa. It's not your birthday, but you got a new room anyways. Do I want to know... I, do I want to know what your super secret project is? 
And yeah, we already did that. Honestly though, now that we built it, we could just get rid of the sign and make it our room. But no, we honestly don't need a room. It would be nice, but eh. Oh, there we go. That was quick. That was like a minute ago. Oh, you want a changing room. Stone stools. Okay. Well, we can build that. Problem is, I don't know if I actually want to build that upstairs. Just because I think they all go in there to change when we're under attack. We'll see. Then again, I kind of want to put everything upstairs, just because it's fun. But anyways, with that, I think we'll end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders, we're going to go explore the new area a bit more. See if we can get ourselves another blueprint, a new attack, and then we'll see about making a changing room. Also, I'm going to see about maybe changing out a couple of, uh, what are they called? Changing out some of these walls, just some brick walls instead. So, till then. Whoops. I can fix that. There we go.